the streetcar is one of the most hotly debated issues in Milwaukee. And whether you're for it or against it, it's going to cost you millions of dollars. The iTeams Jermont Terry joins us now to break down the costs that hardly anyone is talking about, Jermont. Carol, the streetcar craze is pulling into cities across the nation. Milwaukee is no exception. But is the streetcar right for Milwaukee? Tonight, we get to the core of that question. In the hustle and bustle of downtown Milwaukee, you will find plenty of restaurants, bars, and people enjoying the lakefront. But here's what you can't find, a streetcar, at least not yet. I'm thrilled about it. This is a tiny project with astronomical costs. The opinions differ from the streets to City Hall, all for the estimated $65 million rail project. It will run about two miles in downtown's business district. I think the debate will change from, okay, why are we doing this, to how can we get this extended to my neighborhood? Despite federal funds and approval from the Common Council, the fight to knock this streetcar off track is strong. He believes the streetcar will revitalize downtown. We think that there's an economic development component to it, absolutely. Absolutely. But that component comes with a big price tag. So let's break down the city's numbers. Right now, the streetcar is estimated at $65 million. The feds will pay $55 million, leaving the city to cover $10 million. This has to be economically feasible, that, that we are not spending the money because the money is there. And Milwaukee isn't the only city doing this. More than 20 cities nationwide have streetcar projects in the works or are considering installing tracks. And you read a lot or hear a lot about Portland. Milwaukee streetcar hopes to resemble these tracks in Portland, Oregon, with a vibrant business district along the route. The, the example of Portland has, I think, misled city leaders all over the country. Randall O'Toole is an advocate for reduced government regulations. He wrote a report arguing Portland streetcar success came at a price. It required millions of dollars worth of subsidies. So city after city are finding that they're having to spend more money than they expected and they're getting less than they expected. The city of Cincinnati is one of those 20 cities nationwide. When contractors made bids this year, the price doubled, jumping from 45 million to 75 million. Cincinnati is a warning from Milwaukee. The streetcar will make money for Milwaukee, but not enough to cover operations. The city estimated the streetcar will have about 500,000 riders each year paying a dollar a ride. That's $500,000 coming in. But right now, the city says the streetcar will cost 2.6 million to operate operate each year. We're moving forward with this project and we do expect to build it. Milwaukee City Engineer said, Jeff Polinski has Ryan, heard all the know, critics. Kind of critics like Brett Healy with the John K. McIver Institute. He filed a petition with the Public Safety Commission about possible WE Energy price hikes, hikes that could be imposed on every WE Energy customer in the state. Get some real answers from the Public Service Commission on who's going to pay for this project before we get too far down that road. The city argues it's already cut some of its costs, but one thing is clear. I mean, at this time, we don't know what those definitive impacts are. Milwaukee will become the second city in the state with a streetcar. It's been 13 years since people started jumping on the streetcar here in Kenosha. More than a decade later, 55,000 people grab a seat every year. So we wanted to know if this project has been profitable or hurtful for the city. I think it pays for itself. I think it's a value. Kenosha Mayor Keith Bossman admits the streetcar is not profitable. It costs around $135,000 for operation and maintenance a year. But as the city benefits and believes, so will Milwaukee. So it's about 90% tourist attraction. It's about 10% transit value. And will this put a strain on the city's budget? I, I think it will not put a strain on the city's budget. Right now, the GOP is pushing to change the law and make sure utility costs for the streetcar cannot be pushed onto WE Energy customers. The city insists it is doing everything it can to get those utility costs down. But this is an issue that affects you and your budget. If you want to weigh in, you can contact the city at the number on your screen or call the PSC to give your two cents on this streetcar project. You can also find all of this information on our website at TMJ4.com. We should point out if everything goes as planned, the streetcar will be up and running in Milwaukee in the year 2016. A lot of people have a lot of different opinions on this Got one. That right. Thank you, John. Well, you asked us to investigate how your tax dollars are spent. If you see something that just doesn't seem right, we want to know about it. Contact us, tmj4.com slash iTeam. You ask, we investigate.
Well, it was sunny this morning, but we did get a little rain tonight. Take a look at this video from Minnesota. Ooh. Chunks of 